how to add percentages in today's video we're going to be learning how to add percentages i'm going to be showing us simple steps to take to be able to arrive at the correct answer anytime we are presented with questions on the adding percentages and after today we'll be able to confidently solve any type of question in this category so we're going to be starting with a simple question then move over to a more tricky type of question now looking at the question on the screen it says increase 300 by 10 percent then increase the result by 20 percent let's first find the 10 percent of 300 and to do that we are going to say 10 divided by 100 multiply 300 divided by 1 here we can see we have two zeros at the denominator and two zeros at the numerator which are going to cancel out each other then leaving us with 10 and 3 so we're going to say 10 multiplied by 3 and that is going to give us 30 so the 10 percent of 300 is 30 and increasing 300 by 10 percent is going to be 300 plus 30 to give you 330 now step two we're going to find the 20 percent of 330 and to do that we're going to say 20 divided by 100 multiply 330 divided by 1 Solving this out, we are going to get 66 as the answer. Now, to get the final answer, we are going to say 330 plus 66. And 330 plus 66 is going to give you 396. Final answer. So you see, this is actually very simple and as well tricky at the same time. Until you do it the right way, you will get things mixed up and might not be able to arrive at the correct answer. So, having solved this um, simple type, we're going to move on over to a more tricky type of question on the adding percentages, and that is going to be question number two. Question number two says, a store sells a pair of pants at a profit of 15%, a concessionaire also adds 5% on top of their cost. If the supplier cost of the pants is $800, how much would a customer have to pay at a concessionary? Now, to solve this question, we're going to first of all find the cost of a pair of pants at the store. And step one to finding this is to get the 15% of $800, which is the supplier's cost. Okay, so 15% of $800 is going to be 15 divided by 100 multiply 800 over 1. We still have two zeros up and two zeros down, which are going to cancel out each other. And we'll say 15 multiplied by 8 is going to give us 120. That means that at the store, um, the seller has $120 to the supplier's cost. So uh, the cost of a pair of pants at the store is now $120 plus $800, which is $920. Step 2, we are going to find the cost of a pair of pants at a concessionary and that is to get the 5% of the cost at the store and add it up. So we are going to say 5 divided by 100 multiply 920 divided by 1. Remember if we get the result here, we are going to add it to the cost of a pair of pants at the store in order to get the final cost of a pair of pants at a concessionary so when you divide this out you're going to get 46 46 dollars so now the cost of a pair of pants will now be 46 dollars plus 920 dollars that is what the customer is going to pay at a concessionary for a cost for a pair of pants rather so 46 dollars plus 920 dollars will give you 966 dollars as a final answer you see, just like I said before, this can actually be simple and tricky at the same time. But if you follow the right step, do it gradually, you are going to arrive at the correct answer with ease and no much mistakes. So having learned this, we are going to be moving over to question number three. And it says, a man bought an old car and spent 30% of the cost on engine repair, 10% on acquiring Lego document, and 15% on repainting. If the cost of the car was $150,030, how much in total did he spend on acquiring the car? Now for this question, we're going to solve it and drop our answers in the comment section. 